Who was that guy? What guy? The last night, that guy. Oh, um, his name is Eric. Eric. <laughs> is uh, Eric your fella? <laughs> no. No. You know, I think I like almost everything about this place. But the dude situation. Not great. No one like dates. Everyone's so casual about it all. Same as when I was here. Yeah. I guess there's part of me that's a little old fashioned. Well, on behalf of all current and former 18 to 22 year olds, I'd like to apologize. Forgive us. Seriously, we know not what we do. <laughs> I think one of the things I love the most about being here was the feeling that anything was possible. Just infinite choices ahead of you. you. You get out of school and anything could happen. And then you do get out and life happens, you know, decisions get made and then all those many choices you had in front of you are no longer really there. At a certain point you just gotta go, oh, I guess this is how it's going down. And there's just something a little depressing about that. Well, don't you think you're romanticizing youth a bit much? Yeah, because it's, it's just as hard and annoying to be young as it is to be old, I'm assuming. Not that you're old, because, you know, you're not. Look, I, I, I get the whole we're all equal argument, and it's kind of true, but it's also kind of not true. Like, okay, I feel different now than I felt when I was here, and I hate to break this to you, but so will you. So you're saying things suck? I should prepare myself for suckiness? No. A liberal arts education solves all your problems. Thank God. It's worth every penny. <laughs>